say. I don't want them to say. See, it's all about the say. So, a lot of fear and a lot of lack of movement towards purpose is a fear of what somebody going to say. I don't want them to say that I was, I was wrong for leaving them or whatever the case. You worry about what they're going to say versus doing what needs to be done. So, he says, let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things coming, ETH at the end of the word come, which means continually. The wrath of God upon, notice where it says it is, it is upon. So if you're on your new journey and you're still catching a whole bunch of hell, this is why. It says the wrath of God will be upon the children of disobedience. So that is why there is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. And you would think that that means that that comes from the world. I've told y'all the Bible is an internal book. There is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. The wicked means those that are of disobedience. Those that walk in variation of what God has said. So he says there is no peace unto them. So that's the reason why you see Christians are believers that carry no peace. Because of that spirit of disobedience. If it's done been spoken and prophetically decreed and declared and you still battling against it and you still fighting against doing it, then you've entered into a place of disobedience. And it says that the wrath of God, the wrath of God, which means the anger of God or the disappointingness of God, the releasing of the hand of God, is upon the children of disobedience. Do I need to go any further into that? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Verse 7 says, But not ye, be not, I'm sorry, be not ye, Therefore, partakers with them. (laughs) Uses the word partakers. Partake. To partake of something means that you are literally, emotionally, mentally, and all in it. You've invested everything in it. So he said, be not ye therefore investors. With them, you're willing to run the risk investing. Verse 8 For ye were sometimes darkness, you was on this road. He said, But now you are light, you're on another road in the Lord. So he says, You should walk as the children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Proving, notice he says, it is going to be shown. You don't have to worry about what somebody has to say about something that you're doing. Because this here is your proof that I'm giving you this morning. It says it is going to be proven what is acceptable unto the Lord. God is going to make it make sense to them. They may not get it because they are on assignment to keep you in a place or to throw you into a place of disobedience. But the word says right there that it will be proven that it is acceptable unto the Lord. So can I say to y'all this morning to tell you, if you know that you've turned on another road, It's been prophesied for you to go down another road. You better stop worrying about what four got to say. Because it'll be proven that that was God's will. It'll be proven that it was acceptable by God for it to be done. It'll be proven. But it can't be if you walk in the disobedience and in the fear of man and what it is that man will say. What man's thoughts is about things. 
Jesus was so stern in doing the will of God. When they asked him about his mama, he said, who is my mama? I really personally believe he put that in there for a reason. Because a lot of times that's a great hindrance to us. We are all taught to care about what parents say. And I mean spiritual parents too. We are all taught. To care about that. And no, nobody think they know the path that their children should take better than a parent. Nobody. I know, I know, I know personally. I'm a parent. Nobody thinks that we that they know the best place and the best person and all that for their children like a parent. Nobody. Nobody thinks they know that better. Because we have things that we can justify it with, with saying, well, I know my child. Yeah, I do. I know I could tell you the personality of all three of my children, all three of them. And because we'll think that we know this, you know, it literally, if you don't watch it, it will interfere in what God is doing because that nature steps in and steps in so strong is part of the Jezebel nature is what it is. That nature steps in so strong that it will literally try to dictate and it literally operates out of a spirit of fear, which is coupled with control in order to say that I know what's best. But then when you have a parent that has the mindset of, well, if things didn't go a certain way with them, so they really working hard to make sure that because they fought so much failure, they don't want it to be said that the child failed too. Now it's double failure all over the place when all of it still boils down to worried about what somebody has to say. But if God can get us to a place as to where we are willing to do what he say and allow him to prove that it is the acceptable will of God, but very few people allow God to prove that it is the acceptable will because they won't even take the action to do it. They'll literally stay stuck in that space of worry about what somebody got to say, battling and Jezebel is in control because as long as we're stuck in that control mindset and in that fear mindset, then she's in control of everything that is going on and we don't ever make it to the place of God being made seen that it was acceptable in what it is that God wanted us to do. Very few make it. Very few. Prove it, Pastor Lee. I will. I don't told y'all about challenging me when I'm in the Holy Ghost. Don't do that. Challenge me when I'm deaf. Fiend. Listen, check this out. The children of Israel, a lot of them didn't make it. They didn't make it. They didn't make it. They didn't make it. Vast majority of them died in the wilderness. They didn't make it. They didn't make it. They didn't make it, y'all. They didn't make it. We have to be careful. Nobody thinks they knows best for children better than a parent. And me included. Me included. Me included. So, and a lot of times that can be a hindrance. It can be a major hindrance because as a woman, Jezebel operates in women. And yes, she does operate in men by the form of control. She do. When you have a man that wants to control everything, dictate everything, it's not so that he's so much in love with the woman. But that is a Jezebel spirit because when you understand the anatomy of how we were created, we were all, he created them all, both male and female. When we were first formed, we are both the same. That is the reason why you cannot tell what a child is until after a certain time. After that, a child has formed. And then you can see what the sex of that child is going to be. But in the first stages, we are all the same. And so because we are all the same, women tend to carry portions of us that could be masculine and then men carry portions of them that could be feminine. And that is the reason why it's so easy to tell 
when someone is in a certain place. It's easy. You can look at a chick and tell, oh, oh, she fooling well. Oh, 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 she you know, she you know went across the water. <laughs> you know, you can look and see because that male nature begins to come forth. You can look at a, a guy and tell, oh Lord, oh Jesus, you know, oh Lord, God, he playing across the water. You know, and why? Because the feminine nature, that part, because we were both created the same. It was for the reproduction that things were made different. And so the spirit of Jezebel has the nature to live in the man and by form of control has the nature to live inside of the woman by form of dictatorship, literal control and manipulation. That is the way, that is where it will live inside of us. Those are the areas that you will see it hit the woman. The man will be his controlling will be the Jezebelic spirit. He has to uh, dominate everything. He got to know every move that's being made and all that type stuff. That is his nature of control with Jezebel. The nature with the woman is we got to manipulate. We we pretty much got to set the course and the plan for everybody. You use going to find that it is a woman behind all of that mess when it's kicking off like that inside of a house you you, you trace it back you'll find out whenever you see there is a, a you know a strong hole on kids and all of that check that chick out I guarantee you the chick has got a major hand in in a lot of that because that is the nature of how things were y'all need to read your bible you need to become familiar with your bible become familiar with the spirit of the bible the bible is a book that you learn in dimensions the more you grow in the things of God when you read the book the book is a natural book it talks in parable but as you come out of your natural walk and begin to be more spiritual with God you should be getting more revelation of how things work and seeing the context of how these things operate even seeing how demonic spirits come about and how they are in full manifestation and operation and so you will see that that is part of the check nature that goes with the manipulating that is why she would be the one that set up the plan in order to get the um neighbor of God and his vineyard and all she is the one that devised that she was the one that became angry and set the plan against Elijah for what it was that he would do most of the time in a situation you will see that it is the woman is the one boy she is the one that would harbor the the, the fighting for the unforgiveness the most and, and the literal clap back would be in the heart of that of the woman. You have to watch every bit of that. That is the, oh God, those are the natures that Jesus, that we possess. I'm trying to come out of this, y'all. And this is what I'm trying to do. I don't know why I'm having to go, but that that is the nature of where we are as, oh God, help me, please. That is where we are and what happens with us as, as women. So that's Jezebel that would literally produce the spirit of disobedience. She's part of the root of it. She's that spirit. When I say Jezebel, I'm actually referring to a spirit that is part of that spirit. That will produce that of disobedience. Jezebel had a false sense of submission. They offend. Let the people go. Well, let me go then, God. You got me in here locked up. Look. She has a false nature of submission. A false nature of submission. She carries the title of wife. She's not really submitted in that nature, in that context. God help me. I really wish I could do this stuff like this on public forums. I do. I don't believe God lets me get big out here like this because I really believe it It will be hits against my life. I just really believe that. I'm serious. You can say, you know what I'm saying, y'all can think what you want. But I really do believe that it will cause hits against my life and he's not really ready for that to happen yet. But before I leave this world, I will be able to do this on public forums in public places, uh, you know, because I'm going to be preparing to die anyway, so it's not going to make a difference. Uh, but um, so 
I do. I really wish I could put it on public forums and people would hear. I know people are going to be mad. That's why I don't want to 